In this video, we're going to see how to use the parameters and system message from the previous part to create custom models. You might have already noticed that Olama is similar to Docker in several ways. For example, the pull and ps commands mimic the same commands from Docker. And you might have used the Docker file to configure a custom container image and use that configuration to build those images. There is a similar concept in Olama. You create a model file that configures a custom model. You start with a base model and then configure that model using parameters and system messages and more to create a custom model. Then instead of setting the parameters at the command line every time you run the base model, you run the custom model. Let's take a look. First, I need to create a blank model file. Now, I need to choose a base model. I've got Llama 3.18b on this machine, so I think I'll use that. Now, using the from instruction in the model file, I can tell Olama to use Llama 3.18b as the base model. Now I'll configure some parameters with the parameter instruction. First, I'll set the top P to 0.8 because I want that business-like tone from the last part. And I'll set the temperature parameter to 0.3. Next, set the system message with the system instruction. Again, you are a Fortune 500 business strategist. Offer insights with a calm, authoritative tone. Next, create the custom model with the Olama create command. The only required parameter is the name of the new model. Optionally, you can pass the name of the model file to use. By default, it will use model file. Since we have a model file in the current directory, we can simply run Olama create fortune. This will only take a few seconds because the Llama 3.18b model is already on this machine. Otherwise, Olama would first download the base model. Now, if we list the models on the machine, you'll see the fortune model with the default tag of latest. And if we run the fortune model, and look at the parameters, you can see that the temperature and top P parameters are set to 0.3 and 0.8 respectively. And if you execute the show system command, you can see the system message. And if I ask, how can you help me? The generated response will reflect the model file parameters. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more, click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. To be notified of future videos, click the bell to know as soon as new videos are published. Exit the Olama command line and list the models again. Notice that the fortune model is the same size as the base model, 4.9 gigabytes. This would imply that the fortune model is not merely a layer on top of the base model, but a copy of it with the parameters and system message set as in the model file. Let's see if it is. Delete the base Llama 3.18b model and run the fortune model again. It still works, but if I delete the fortune model and create it with the model file, this time without the base model downloaded, it will download Llama 3.18b and then create the Fortune Custom Model. And that wraps up this video. Now you can create custom models using any of the parameters that Olama supports along with system messages. You can also configure a custom model with the user and assistant messages we saw earlier. And the model file syntax also supports templates for prompts as well. A full list of everything is in the docs at the link on the screen and in the description below. Thanks for watching.